What's in my camera bag for 2019? Let's find out. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do my very first what's in my camera bag for 2019. So this video was inspired not only because of what I'm watching on YouTube lately, but also because the other day I was actually selling my kit lens that came with my Canon SL2. So as I was sending it off at the post office, I ran into one of my buddies that I'd actually grown up with. We started talking about cameras. He, he shoots with Sony. So I started telling about my Canon kit and it kind of sparked that idea into my mind. Why don't I do it? What's in my camera bag? Let's dive right into it. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the description box below. First of all, my bag is the Amazon's Basics bag. It's a pretty good bag. One day, eventually, I'd like to upgrade to one of the better, you know, tough, more durable, rugged type bags a lot of people use. So on the outside, as you can see, you know, on the top handle, I keep a hand sanitizer with me always. Always got to use that. And this side pocket right here where you can actually put, you know, the, the tripod or I actually have my Amazon's Basics monopod. You know, while I was doing research, I found that the movie or the film monopods are a lot more expensive. Right here. So for my first monopod, I went with this one, which is, works great. I mean, I take it with me some days. It's a really long selfie stick. And this side right here, I got my headphones. I listen to music. In this pouch right here, I have the battery packs. I have some Wasabi tooth pack with the charger. Of course, my batteries are the LPE17. I got my Canon battery charger here. Also have a lightning cable right here. Lightning SD reader. Some adapters. You know, headphone jack adapter, stylus pin. This is my SD card holder. Kiero Photo plastic case is a hard plastic case. It keeps my SD cards, micro SD cards, and it has my adapters in there, as you can see. Here I have just a generic cleaning kit, hot shoe mount, also my sensor cleaner. You know, nothing too crazy about that. Moving into the main body of the backpack, this is where I carry all the rest of the stuff here, starting off with the camera pouch. This is basically where I put my Canon SL2 when it's stored away. I keep it in this little pouch. It's kind of soft, cushiony. You know, it has some spots in it back here. Maybe put some SD cards if you want this little zipper area. It has a strap in the back, so if you want to run your camera strap through it, if you want to hang something with like a little carabiner or something, it goes there. Like I said, I use this just to carry my, my camera whenever it's being transported in here, just to keep it from beating around and stuff like that. Next thing on my list, this is actually what I'm recording my audio into my camera with right now. It's my Boya MM1 microphone. This little thing's cheap. It's the cheapest one I think I found on Amazon. It, it does good work. It's not like the Video Pro Mic Plus or Video Pro Plus microphone. Again, those are a little bit more expensive. And again, when I say I go budget, I went budget because there was no sense in me going and buying the most expensive stuff out there. You know, there was just no no way. This is the little pouch to my Aperture ALM9 light. It's an LED light. I actually have it back here, uh, using it to kind of light up that little thing right there. I just turn it on. But this thing is really cool. It's you know fairly cheap, and you can carry it anywhere. It stores away easy. Put it. You can use it to light up your scene. Put it on a hot shoe. Comes the hot shoe mount in here. It has some gels and some softeners in here. I also have the the newer CN160 LED light, which that one's on top of the camera right now. Moving into the next thing, what I have here is my Joby Gorilla Pod. This is uh, pretty cool. I, I use this quite often. I do have the problem with it tipping over, so I, I, I'm kind of careful when I use it, so I don't just drop my camera all over the place. But it comes in handy. It's really good, really easy to use. It has the little base plate, the quick release base plate on it, which is very great. Comes in handy. I usually keep that base plate. I usually keep that base plate on the bottom of my camera when I'm transporting. Just in case I have to put it on, I can just slap it on there pretty quick. Next thing I have here, this is the newest thing I actually picked up. This is a Terion camera strap. Now I was using just a generic OEM or standard Canon strap, but <laughs> you know, I don't think nobody uses those. I just was using it just because I didn't want to spend money on anything else. But I ended up picking up this one. Again, this is a pretty cool strap. It's brown, brown leather on it. I really like these little quick release hooks it has on it. It has these little hooks that you can kind of put on the outside of the camera, the little strap, and it just clips in and it clips off. Next thing I have in here is my fluid head. This is actually a Pangshi, Pangahashi. I don't know how to say that. King Joy. I picked this up off Amazon as well. It's a fluid head. It comes, I keep the handle in here. Usually, you know, this goes in here like that. And then I've set that on top of my tripod and or my monopod and I can actually do some really cool fluid head transitions. I keep that with me at all times. Again, just if 
fits in there, I make it work. So that's kind of what I what I what I use. You know, I'm gonna link everything in the description box below. So if you want, to, if you're interested, this is what works for me. I, I like, I, I really love my camera kit. You know, eventually, hopefully by next year or the year after, I'll have more stuff. I definitely want to upgrade on on a second camera. Right now, I'm actually recording all the overhead stuff on my iPhone 8 Plus, and it's been very hard, very very frustrating transferring files from my phone you to my suck. computer. I've had to do a lot of research, I've, and I finally found a, a, an app that works pretty good. I think it's called. Uh, I have to find out what it is. I'll put it in the description box below. Moving on, before I get too far into it, I have my KNF Concept wireless lav mic setup okay this thing is great this is the m8 the receiver and the transmitter and all the wiring and stuff so my camera body it's actually recording right now so you can't see it but i actually have the international version of the canon eos rebel sl2 the 200d my tripod i'm actually using is a, it's a dolica 62 inch tripod i'm using it right now so you can't see it but it's a pretty good tripod it's easy to pack easy to carry around sometimes i use that to you know, pick it up overhead and do some pretty cool shots from over well, I have my Nifty 50, 50 millimeter 1.8 Canon, which is a great, great, great lens. For the price, it is a great lens. I also carry my 10 to 18 millimeter image stabilized Canon lens right here. This lens works great as well for vlogging. You know, when I have the camera in front of me, that's mainly the one I use. And this pouch right here, which it doesn't go in here because I'm using the one that goes in here, but here I have my, my workhorse, my most versatile, lens I have which is the 18 to 135 kit lens image stabilized this thing is awesome I think this lens comes with like the ADD so right now like I said this is all I have right here now what actually goes in here is my favorite lens I have which is the Sigma art lens 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8 it's 1.8 aperture through the zoom so 18 millimeter 24 28 35 you can get 1.8 aperture at all all the zoom ranges which is awesome it took me a long time to decide to buy that that lens just because it was my first step up into actually, you know, a more pro level type lens. Uh, I haven't really got a chance to do photography with it like I wanted to, but that's the main lens I use um, for in here, especially for, for studio recording and stuff like that. Also, moving on to the rest I have in here, I have some other stuff. I have my Zomi ND filters, my circular polarizer, an extra diffuser here for my speed light, a little orange gel for that newer CN160 light up there. Also, have my KNF Concept step up rings right here, which are very handy. I use the step up rings or step down rings. I actually have the whole set because I have just one size of ND filters and I can use that all the way from my 10 to 18 all the way up to my 18 to 135 and the 50 millimeter uh, lens as well. I can just adapt them on there, you know, throw them on there. This right here is my speed light, my first ever speed light. I, I picked up the Young Nuo YN560 Mark IV. Works really good. I keep this in here as well. It works great. Uh, my friends at Relino actually sent me, which will be another video. They sent me this, the uh, Relino F550, for me to try out and check out. So I'm pretty excited about this. It's pretty much my whole kit, guys, in here. This is what I carry around. Now, talking about stuff outside of my kit, I also carry some other items that are, you know, accessories and stuff like that. Again, I have my iPhone 8 Plus, which I actually have sitting here on a little cheap, bendy tripod. And I have it actually grabbed around my uh, cymbal, cymbal stand to my drum set because I had to improvise what I have to make it work. So I'm using that as an overhead camera to record all the overhead stuff. I have in this bag right here, I keep my Osmo Mobile for when I'm recording with my iPhone Plus, iPhone 8 Plus. I actually use it to record some uh, a video that I'm working on for uh, a company. I also have these right here. These are awesome. These are actually a mirror, it's a cryoker. Well, these are our extra lenses to the iPhone, you actually just clip this. I'm using one right now. You clip this on the iPhone on the camera itself and it actually gives you some pretty cool effects. This one, for instance, I think this is the macro lens. It's a small lens right here. And then there's a wide angle lens, which is what I'm using right now on the overhead and then the uh, fish eye lens. Also have this, this is my slider. I picked this up also as a Zecti. Uh, it's about a 16 inch or 15.7 inch slider, which is great. You know, it has cool little Durable legs on the end, on the bottom it has a camera mount right there screw on the bottom It has the quarter inch and three eighths if you want to throw it on top of a tripod Which is what I do. I put it on top of a tripod and Then it has a, a locking, you know a locking nut over here a little locking adjustment here where you lock it And then you can fluidly move that around like that So again, I put this on my tripod with the fluid head and then I'm able to do some pretty cool transitions I have my Xeon crane 2 um, I ended up going with the Crane 2 
even though my camera setup is kind of light. I had been looking, I had been kind of beating myself up about which uh, gimbal I wanted to get. I ended up going with the Crane 2 because during the holidays, I actually found that I could get the Crane 2 for the same price as the V2 and the Crane Plus. Of course, those were also cheaper during the holidays, but you know, just generally looking at it, the Crane 2, I got it for the price of the Crane Plus, and which was great because if I, I'm kind of future-proofing myself, if I do want to upgrade, I can always just use the Crane 2. And then, like I said, that, that pretty much that pretty much wraps it up, guys, for my camera bag for 2019. Again, this is this is the beginning. This is my first setup ever. Plan to add more stuff or change stuff out eventually. I know one of the biggest things I want to do for sure is I want to get a secondary camera. Uh, I'm using like like I've stated before. I'm using the iPhone 8 Plus. You know, the thing about the iPhone that why I wanted a camera to begin with, I couldn't listen to music and record a video at the same time, which was very frustrating because I wanted to be able to listen to music while I was working on something and be able to record. So there lied my dilemma where I ended up going ahead and buying me an actual camera kit, ready to upgrade to a secondary camera. And just like that same thing, same thing goes into effect. If I use that as a secondary camera, well, guess what? Now I, I'm down again without being able to play music or whatever. So I'm at, at a point where I'm kind of deciding on what I want, what direction I want to go as far as secondary camera. And maybe y'all can leave a comment below. Maybe y'all can kind of help me out with that. You know, give me some ideas and stuff like that. The main one I'm leaning towards too is actually the Canon M50, small mirrorless camera. It'd be great. I was actually looking at that one before I bought the SL2. The other option is the uh, point and shoot. I actually have an old school point and shoot I used to use, which I'm not using no more because that's probably like, I don't know, like 480p. <laughs> the point and shoot would be like G7X or like a Sony R uh, RX100 Mark V or Mark VI. Only thing about those is that they're so pricey. You know, they're so pricey for a point and shoot. It just blew my mind looking at those, how expensive they were. You know, I guess the only upside is that you can, you know, I like going to NFL games, I like going to sports games. That's kind of the upside about the point and shoot is I can throw it in my pocket and I can, you know, take it to a game and I can take it inside with me. My DSLR or like the M50, I wouldn't be able to do that. Another option is the, the GoPro Hero 7. I've seen a lot of footage on it. I've seen a lot of reviews and it. it's easy. It's real compact, throw it in your pocket. The only thing that kind of drives me away about that one is it's, really, it's not really a stills camera. So the versatility of having a stills and a video recording camera kind of goes out the window with that one. I know you can do it. I'm sure you can do it. I'm sure people use it like that, but that's not really what it what it has. And it's really a set zoom. There's no you know zooming. And then the last one is the, the Insta 361X. The only thing that worries me about that one is just kind of the warp effect on the sides. But it looks like it's a really cool camera. A lot of people use it for vlogging and for secondary cameras and stuff like that but again guys these are just options i'm throwing out there i'm, I'm kind of I haven't decided on which one i'm gonna go with yet i'm i am gonna upgrade my secondary camera so again guys if y'all have a recommendation or if y'all have one that y'all think might work out just leave it down in the comment box below man i greatly appreciate it so that pretty much wraps up everything guys for my first ever what's in my camera bag so hopefully next year i can do another one and it might be a little different it might be the same i don't know but that pretty much wraps up what's in my, my camera bag for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications so you can check out some more videos when I post them on. And also go back and check out the rest of the videos I have on my channel. Go back and, you know, get caught up on what I've got going on, right? Um, again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time. Later.